This video clip shows you how to change your port number. Then you can run a Zap, Firefox, and WebGo. By default, we know WebGo is using 8080 as the port to allow clients to access a server. So you cannot use 8080 in your Zap proxy. In order to have this combination run properly, we have to use a different pool in your Zap proxy. Your virtual machine is running. Here's a couple of folders you know. We have a couple of files archived here, just to make it handy for you. Let's run, uh, let's run WebGo first. Please be patient. You have to make sure that web server is fully running. Almost there. Okay, you will see that message indicates the server is running properly right now. Yeah, when you minimize, do not kill your process. Firefox to access server. Just make sure your server is running. Yes, you can make a change. Right now, no proxy. In other words, no application will be set in between your browser and the server. Okay, you can see we can access the server well without any issue. The username I had the space there, you have to make a change. be fun. Sign up. Okay. Then you can browse the server around. It's different. There are different pages. So we make sure the server is running. Then of course we can try uh, to set up the proxy which is a zap we will try first
here, this is a file which tells you how to run those proxy tools. default is 8080 once again you can change that to 6666 if you like then we go back to browser make sure browser has the same setting numbers We have to enable this proxy configuration, so which is a 6666. Make sure nothing is under no proxy for. Okay, so we're ready to try. We just go back to your browser and browsing around. You can see on the Zap side. A lot of conversations are captured by this proxy publication. Zap is a very good tool. Uh, there's a lot of very good features. So once you get familiar with this, this tool, they got a lot of information based on the captured data, captured conversations between your browser and the server. You should spend a lot of time playing with this tool. Have fun. We have to try the second combination. Okay, the second combination we will use Verb Suite. The server is running, Web Gold, it is running. Right now, we just need to run Verb Suite. By the way, make sure your Zap is shut down. You don't want two processors running at the same time.
proxy and options that you can see here uh, you can make a change once again by default the phone number is 8080 once again because 8080 is used by web gold server so we cannot use 8080 in your proxy for this case this is a verb suite so we have to change this one to a different number we use 6666 last time we are going to use the same number okay that's good Okay, we just double check the number still there in your uh, Firefox setting. Oh, we got error. Uh, if you pay attention to the checkbox you know, a few minutes ago, that checkbox was not checked. So you have to make sure that checkbox and the running is checked, which means that proxy number is used by your proxy application. Then you go back to your web browser and just browsing around. Okay, that's good. So you can see all the conversations right now are captured by your burp suite. Of course, you can do a lot in you know, both proxy applications are very good tools yeah you can see here intercept can be on off make sure that's on that you can actually to see some data here and if it's on by the way the conversation will stop so you have to turn it off if you like to get a lot of conversation captured by the proxy Okay, you can just click here, click there, you know, check out this tool, and uh, you can see a lot of data captured already. And both tools are very good, Zap and the Burp Suite. And a lot of good features supported by those tools. Have fun. Enjoy. Bye-bye.